I mean, I don't know. I just look at it like, you know, Twitter is, was, and will always be a dumpster fire. Mm -hmm. And um, Messy. I like dumpster yeah. fires because something's wrong with me. No, I mean, Twitter is like my CNN, like my CNN, my ESPN. So even though I may not tweet a whole lot sometimes, like I do get a lot of news and I kind of check on what's going on in the world, like outside of sports world on Twitter. So, yeah, I, I won't say I'd be upset or nothing like that, but I use Twitter more than Instagram and all those other social media sites. So if Twitter goes to nothing, I probably just won't be on social media like that, honestly. It's an open question how, uh, how long Twitter will even be around. <laughs> um, but I think because we're able to connect with uh, so many of our fans through social media, um, we're able to let them know what we're thinking, let them know what we're focused on let them know what we're doing, and, and also let them know how they can get involved and, and uh, hopefully inspire them to do so. Um, I tell you something, I, I, it's not occupying that much space in my brain right now. Like, uh, if a lot of that stuff went away, I think we'd probably be the better for it. That is a real way that people get work. And, and people build a body of work and, and figure out a way to sell their work without having to rely on gatekeepers. So honestly, it just sucks that for a lot of people that this is happening. You know, I, I was around when MySpace and Friendster were a, were a thing, you know, and, and social media platforms, it feels like, you know, Twitter and TikTok are everything right now, but mm -hmm. these things, they all come and go, yeah. um, like anything in life.